Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name's Will, I'm a aspiring pro triathlete and one thing I've done over the years is spend a lot of time in a pair of bib shorts. So, recently it was my birthday and I thought, why not have a look and see what the very latest and best offering from ASOS is. So I've got here today a pair of Akeep RS S9 bib shorts. Now these are the very top of the range ASOS shorts. I think they come in at 175 pounds, something like $250, something like that. So it's an awful lot of money to spend on a pair of bib shorts, but hopefully it's justifiable. And uh, I have already opened these, but I thought I'd share with you the packaging because it's pretty cool. And then I'll, I'll go into some of the features in a bit more detail and uh, hopefully you can figure out if these will be right for you as well. So let's have a look at the packaging first. So I have this really nice box to start with. If you compare this to what a normal packaging would look like when you probably have it in, I don't know, like a polythene bag or something, this really is like another level up. So you can see that part of the cost is definitely in the experience of opening them. So if we have a look, it opens up as a drawer and that reveals this box on the inside. And then this box opens up. We've got a bit more branding on the inside as well, which is really cool. Some nice imagery. It just really adds to the experience of getting something where you, you know it's going to be good quality because of the ASOS brand. but to have this whole experience as well really kind of takes it to another level and it's something that you look forward to. So take that out and then we have the shorts in here. So it's quite a lot of packaging just for one pair of shorts. So it might seem pretty gimmicky all this packaging but it really does kind of make it feel special. It's got that kind of Christmas day effect almost of like here's just something that's so much better than anything else out there in terms of experience. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty impressed by that. And then onto the shorts themselves. Now they come neatly rolled up in this little package here. It's probably worth mentioning for this review that I ended up going for the medium short size. Now, I had a bit of a problem with the ASOS size guide and that I'm 187 centimeters tall and about 72, 73 kilos. That put me in the small size for weight but the large size for height. So I kind of compromised, went in the middle and went for the medium size and they've been working out pretty well. So if anyone else around my sort of size is looking for them, then I can recommend the medium is the one to go for. I also went for the, the Prof Black, so it's completely blacked out. No obvious decals or anything. I think it looks really cool. Now the first feature of note on these is the, the A-Lock strap system on the back. So this is what was kind of the the new thing for these shorts was they have a real kind of nice thick long lasting webbing that connects much lower down than a normal bib short. It goes all the way to the nearly the top of the chamois and Although that kind of looks a bit weird and that it pokes out below the bottom of your jersey, what, what it does is it means when you get on the bike, it keeps the chamois so locked in place against you, which means that when you get out of the saddle, when you're moving, going around corners, it just stays where you want it to be the whole time, which is great as I'm a really big fan of that. The next thing I really like about these shorts is the lycra they use. I know when you buy cheaper shorts, you can think, oh, lycra is lycra, but there's something about this lycra. It's real, real thick. It's nice and compressive, which apparently has benefits kind of on a long day. I'm a bit skeptical on that, but that's what they say anyway. And it's just really smooth, so it feels really nice against your skin. And I imagine as well, it's gonna last for quite a long time compared to cheaper Lycras. And around the top of the Lycra as well, there's got this really nice plasticized kind of finish, which means it stops it fraying and it it just looks really nice. It's one of those things where you think, yeah, this, is, this has been thought out. It's a real high quality, high quality item. And the next thing, which I think most people looking at bib shorts think about is the grippers around the legs. So this is really important. You've got the straps for holding the bib shorts in place on you, but then you also have the leg grippers, which are really important in holding the shorts in place on your thighs. Now these kind of have about a one inch thick band 
and it's it's kind of like a it's a stretchy webbing material again with it's just a bit grippy all over i think it's got kind of threads of um grippier sort of fabric running through it and those act as a big surface of grippiness rather than individual blocks of grippiness so that seems to do a pretty good job of holding them in place and the most important part of a bib shot i'm sure most of you will agree with that is the chamois so the asos shorts are renowned for their chamois this is I think this is a new chamois for this shorts. I, I know they've been kind of bright blue in the past. So this is a gray chamois. Um, not that that matters much. So this chamois really is quite special. It's waffle style foam underneath. So that really means that the it breathes a lot better than kind of a whole foam chamois. And then it has a few interesting features which I haven't seen before in any of my other shorts. I've got shorts from Rafa, Specialized, Mavic, and these are a bit special. So they have First of all, they have a space at the front of the short. Um, and that's basically to allow for your, uh, your man parts, if you will. And rather than squishing them up against you like any other shorts would, this kind of allows it all just to kind of sit. And adding to that benefit, it's also perforated there. So there's lots of little holes. And that means they're really breathable and really comfy. And it's, it's something which I haven't seen thought about in short design before. And it's definitely a great feature to have in a pair of shorts. Now the other thing about the chamois is that it's, it's floating in the middle. So you can see that it's anchored at both ends, but not in the middle. And so you can also see the chamois itself is not touching the shorts. So the floating chamois means that it stays on you, it sticks on your skin. So rather than moving around, potentially causing friction rubbing there, which is it's never ideal, it stays stuck on you, which also means when you sit back down, if you've been out of the saddle, it's exactly where you want it to be. Now I have been able to take these shorts out for a few rides so far, and I've been very impressed. I've, um, I've ridden them on my time trial bike, I've ridden them on my road bike, and on the turbo as well on my road bike. So I've kind of there covered all the different situations that you might use them in. And I have to say that they're definitely more comfortable on the road bike. The time trial bike, I'm not, convinced because I've, I've used chamois, thick chamois, thin chamois, different shorts. It's kind of always because of how especially the saddle I've got, it's a split nose saddle and a cut off nose saddle, it's very hard to get a pair of shorts that have enough padding under those specific spots where you sit on a time trial bike. But on the road bike and on the turbo they've been absolutely fantastic. I've done two hour turbo sessions in them and haven't even felt any slight discomfort. Teamed up with some good chamois cream and you're kind of good to go for as long as your legs are going to last really. It's, you're never really thinking about the shorts which is, is exactly how you want it to be, it's great. So I hope you've enjoyed my review of the ASOS Akeep RS S9, that's a lot of things, bib short. They are a really great short. I definitely recommend them. Make sure you get the sizing right like anything else. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. I should have a few more videos similar to this coming soon. So I'll see you in the next one.